Gary Lucy was just 18 when he became an overnight sensation thanks to his role in Hollyoaks. The part of Luke Morgan saw Essex-born Gary tackle some of the meatiest storylines in Soapland at the time, and in 2002 he was snapped up to play Kyle Pasco in ITV's legendary Footballers' Wives. Aged just 21, he was named Britain's most eligible Bachelor of the Year, and like a kid in a sweet shop, he lapped up every second of it. It was a fantastic time in my life, he once told the son. I was 21 years old, I was living the dream at the time and I thoroughly enjoyed it. Indeed, Gary, who is expecting a baby with ex-girlfriend Laura Anderson, enjoyed everything that fame had to offer and was linked to a slew of famous women including Michelle Heaton, Martine McCutcheon and Footballers Wives co-star Zoe Lucker. A true man about town, each week seemingly brought a new kiss and tell, some of which Gary admitted were true. Of claims he had sex with a fan in a hotel room, he once told Scotland's Daily Record, I can't deny that I had an encounter in my hotel room. Things like that have happened. But it's not always exactly how it's reported. Discussing reports that he had group sex sessions and an orgy on a pool table with a group of celebrity pals, he added, yes, something like that happened, but not exactly the way they said. But that's all I'm going to say. But he insisted that some of the hairier tales, like one where he took nine lap dancers to a hotel in Sheffield, were simply not true. It's annoying he said of the reports. There has been one lap dancer who said we had had a little fling, but I've not had a relationship with any. He did enjoy a brief romance with EastEnders actress Michelle Ryan after meeting at her 18th birthday party in a London club in 2002. They reportedly went on a string of dates and she was said to have been devastated when he was pictured leaving a party with actress Kelly Wenham, although he insisted there was nothing romantic going on. Soon after, Michelle took four months off from the soap while suffering from exhaustion, but reassured fans it had nothing to do with her ex. People have blamed Gary, but it wasn't his or anybody's fault. I was exhausted and very down. I desperately needed a break, she told the Daily Mail in 2004 Gary hung up his party boots when he met and fell in love with model Natasha Gray. Their daughter India, now 18, was born a year later, followed by son Elvis in 2011. They moved to Mallorca and set up a property business before tying the knot after 10 years on November 16, 2014. The couple said I do at London's Mandarin Oriental Hotel in front of celebrity guests including Towie's Amy Childs, Christopher Biggins and Holly Oakes and Emmerdale cast members. In his gushing speech, Gary told Natasha, I fell in love with you the moment I met you. You're the most beautiful woman inside and out. I love you. And it was on their wedding night that their third child, daughter Sadie, is believed to have been conceived. Asked when they discovered they were expecting, Natasha said, shortly after the wedding. Gary added, we reckon it was around the wedding night, that the baby was conceived. In fact it must have been that night actually, as I didn't see Natasha for a week after because I was touring. So it better have been the wedding night, laughs. Sadly, their marriage wasn't to last and they parted ways in November 2018, just days shy of their fourth wedding anniversary and the arrival of their fourth baby, a son named Theodore. Gary was said to have been heartbroken and was reportedly spotted sobbing backstage on the full Monty Live tour. In a joint statement the couple said, 
It is with great sadness that we announce the end of our marriage. This was a very difficult decision, but was reached mutually and amicably. No other parties are involved. Our priority is, as always, our children. There are no secrets nor salacious events at the root of our decision, just two best friends realizing it's time to take some space and help each other live the most joyous, fulfilled lives possible. We are still a family and will always be loving, dedicated parents. Single and in his 40s, Gary found dating to be a whole new ball game compared to 14 years ago, and admitted he was struggling to find a meaningful connection. I'm a 40-year-old man now. Where do you build a relationship, not meet people for a hookup? That was early 20s or late teens and I had no problems with that back then, I certainly had my cake and ate it, he told the son. Back in the day, I used to change my number or change my phone, which is an awful way to behave and am just being honest. That's upsetting, I think they call that ghosting now. Determined to find love, Gary took part in Channel 4's Celebs Go Dating, where he sparked with Love Island's Laura Anderson. They quickly started dating but split earlier this year. Laura is expecting their first child but has reportedly vowed to raise the baby as a single woman.